Toy hey guys and girls, welcome back to another Lego Marvel video. So this is the final set in the No Way Home trilogy of releases. This is Spider-Man at the Sanctum Workshop. So let's see what this set has to offer us. Okay, so let's talk minifigures. So we've got uh, Spider-Man. Um, on the picture on the box, Spider-Man has the sling ring uh, catcher on there for the film to catch the villains. Not present on this, but it is a nice suit. Black and gold really stands out. It's quite impressive. Nice little Spider-Man. Comes with usual webbing and uh, accessories. So this is meant to be MJ. Um, there is a little bit of pattern on the back here, but it's covered by the hair. Two faces very similar. You've got sort of a confused one and a smirking one. It's okay. It would make a nice addition to my collection, but I think it could have been a lot better. Then we've got the Wong figure. Now, I'm not going to lie. I got really confused when I was putting my minifigures away um, with the Multiverse of Madness Wong, and this one's the same. Uh, the only way I'd be able to identify this as not one of my eternal figures is by the coat from the snow scene when Spider-Man enters the Sanctum. But yeah, definitely Wong's a bit hit and miss as well. And finally, we've got another Doctor Strange. So... This set would have perhaps been the first one with this sort of system with the solid more fitting cape rather than a cloth one and the hairpiece again with the grey. So they're the minifigures. Uh, a couple of nice surprises. We'll start off with this one it is this incredible monster. Like a half praying mantis that comes with the set. Uh, this is one whole bag's worth of pieces. That stands quite cool. Uh, and speaking of monsters, if I pop this down here and bring you down here to film, we've got this uh, strange treasure chest um, with like a monster coming out. We've got this uh, chair of a PlayStation controller bike and a workshop. No TV though for the game. Look I've got a spare one from my Avengers Tower build. Back here we've got a little spider there and a scorpion. So you've got all these details. Uh, a lot of the build, once the basics are done with these little touches like the telescope, the camera, treasure chest, ghetto blaster, the computer. Um, and then as you come through this archway You've got this little trophy, more details there. So I turn this around, this is the back part of it. You can see uh, the details in here. So like a little jewel, a little trophy. And this cool rock, you can't really see from the front, it sits between the workbench here. And this, uh, this I love this piece, it's really good. Um, so on the whole, lots and lots of details, lots of different ways you can set this up. But I have an idea what I'm going to do with it. I'm actually going to put mine under the Sanctum place up. It's like a double layered project. Uh, and see how that goes. I'm quite happy with this set. I paid £25 for it. I'm going to pop this camera back on the shelf. Um, so yeah, you can move stuff around. There's a lovely hourglass here as well, with detail. Um, so guys, that is a look around the Sanctum Workshop. Till next time guys, please remain safe and stay fab. Hey guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that content. So, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, give me a subscribe. If you've done that, thank you very, very much. But if you like your content a bit more mature, a little bit gory, sometimes scary, or you want to find out what's going on in my personal life with the community, come along to the Gaming Hobby Channel R, and we'll see you there. Till next time, guys, keep safe and stay fab. Goodbye.